Hello everyone, this is Shashank. I hope you all are doing well today and I also hope you all are watching my AWS videos. So as you can see today I have picked up a topic from security identity and compliance section AWS key management service. So AWS key management service or KMS is basically deals with your encryption and decryption mechanism. So when I say encryption and decryption mechanism, what does that mean? what I'm trying to achieve with KMS. So to explain this, I'll, I'll take an, a common example where I have a sensitive data document and I want to upload it to my S3 bucket. So let's say I'm just uploading my sensitive data document in a plain text right away without encrypting anything. So that is something a security breach as per any industry standard and data can be leaked around easily it is visible to the public world which obviously uh, nobody wants to do that that's where the concept of KMS key management service comes into picture where it provides us an opportunity to encrypt our sensitive data or any kind of data which we want to upload which we want to create in terms of volume or snapshots or backup, it provides us that functionality to do that. Encryption as well as decryption. So it's just like a key lock combination. You are just encrypting data and with the same key you are just decrypting data and see what is happening or what is present in the data just for the performance analysis. Okay, so this is something the brief uh, about a KMS and as you can see we have like three option in KMS console AWS manage key customer manage key custom key store but before uh, doing a deep dive analysis or doing a practical demo I have created a brief diagram that shows the encryption mechanism as well as the decryption mechanism Oops, I have a spelling mistake, sorry. So, basically the uh, basic requirement is we have a user that is having a sensitive data document and want to upload to an S3 bucket using a server-side encryption with KMS. So, how he can achieve that goal? So, user again having sensitive data uploaded document to S3 bucket since we are supposed to use the server-side encryption with KMS so S3 will get in touch with my KMS service KMS has a concept of customer master key so it will contact CMK CMK in turn generate two sub keys plain text data key and encrypted data key Again, encrypted data key is similar to plain text data key. It's just it's encrypted in nature. So once these two key is generated, it is available to S3 bucket right away. Since the associated key I'm talking about. So once the key is available, the next set of operation it will gonna perform is like take the uploaded document, the sensitive data document uploaded by the user plus the plain text data key which is like created by CMK and at background perform the encryption algorithm finally to encrypt the document that the user has uploaded so that's how the encryption happens within KMS when you upload data to S3 bucket or the same way it encrypts the volumes or snapshots if you're not using S3 so let's go to the decryption mechanism. Okay. Now in decryption, what we have to do? So what we are trying to do, whatever we the document we have encrypted, we want to decrypt it and see the data, right? Okay. So user is trying to fetch the document, which is encrypted in nature from S3 bucket. Since it's uh, server-side encryption with KMS then again S3 will get in touch with KMS service KMS will 
कॉन्टैक्ट सी एम के कस्टमर मास्टर की कस्टमर मास्टर की विद द हेल्प ऑफ इनक्रिप्टेड डेटा की विच वी यूज इन आर प्रीवियस स्लाइड टू इनक्रिप्ट द डॉक्यूमेंट सो विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस इट विल जेनरेट अ प्लेन टेक्स डेटा की ओके सो वंस प्लेन टेक्स डेटा की जेनरेटेड दिस इज अवेलेबल टू एस थ्री बकेट राइट अवे सो वंस द की इज अवेलेबल ऑन एस थ्री बकेट द नेक्स्ट सेट ऑफ ऑपरेशन इज लाइक it will take the encrypted document plus plain text data key and at background perform the decryption algorithm to decrypt the encrypted data or encrypted document which will be finally available to the user now user can see what we have decrypted uh, what we have encrypted okay okay so this is the uh, the logic flow basically how KMS works at backend while you upload a data or an encrypt it with KMS and decrypt it with the KMS key. Let's go to KMS console. As I said, uh, we have AWS manage key. So AWS manage key by name it suggests it's managed by AWS itself. So if you remember with my last video where we shared the RDS snapshot, we created our Oracle DB with AWS RDS managed by AWS itself, this key to create our snapshots, the first snapshot. And then we created our CMK, customer managed key, to share the data or the snapshot and restore it on second account. So it's basically whenever you use any of the service and you implement KMS, uh, then the by default uh, key will be come into picture, which you will get to see over here in AWS manage key. The second one is customer manage key, which is like we manage, we create, we manage. So as of now, what we are trying to do, we'll be uploading a data to my S3 bucket, config test 2000111, and we'll encrypt that text file with our KMS key, which we are going to create it right now. So let's go ahead and click create key. Name can be anything, S3, S3, S admin, let's say. Uh, description would be test. We have three options, KMS, external and custom key store. Again, custom key store, uh, uh, so cloud HSM is a different module, uh, just like a cluster. We use external accounts, we can use that, and we are using KMS over here. So click next, tagging, which is like important uh, for all the resources that we use in AWS. Click next. Now, we have to give a key administrator. So basically, the next two section is like, uh, you have to select an IAM user or a role who can administer this particular key, who has authority to use this key, to administer this key, and to delete this key. So I have logged in with user account Shashank, which is admin to this portal. So I'm gonna select Shashank. And I'm allowing Shashank to administer to delete this key. Click next. On the role side, I'll again select Shashank. And this particular section, you are allowed to share your key with another account. So you can go ahead and add another account, which we are not going to uh, do in this tutorial. If you want to see uh, how we have added uh, another account and shared the key, please watch my RDS snapshot sharing video, uh, where we have used uh, two accounts and share our key and rest of the snapshot uh, restoration we have done. So click next. So whatever steps we have performed, it created a policy of it. So again, policy, set of permissions, which basically do the authorization, uh, like if you are authorized to perform some things, like if you are authorized to perform modification of a volume or deletion of a user, so that is policy. Again, policy related thing. Uh, and the next video is coming up uh, for an IAM tutorial itself where we are going to create policies, roles, user groups and 
that will complete all IA module itself. So basically this policy is uh, showing like actions tab, encrypt, decrypt, re-encrypt, generate the data key and describe the key. Okay, click finish. Wow, we have S3S admin with a key ID enabled. There is one thing which is uh, quite as per industry standard key rotation. By def so this particular uh, AWS console gives rotates the key every year which is like it's a good practice to do it's just like when you create a domain user and you applied a policy that password needs to be changed after every 30 days 45 days that depends upon the uh, standard that every organization is following so we have to do this as well so you can go ahead and select this click save now we have a key now we're going to upload a test file on our S3 bucket. Let's go ahead and do that. Test file, which has a text welcome. Click open and upload the file. This takes a second. Here we go. We have test file in our S3 bucket. So let's go ahead and browse this file. Let's see what we get. Okay, we are getting access denied why we are getting access denied let's go ahead and see the permission for this file so everyone is not allowed to read the objects let's give everyone as read access to this file and refresh it awesome we are able to see the text welcome the next operation is we are going to encrypt our test file so for that go to the properties section we have an encryption property click encryption by default none of the files are encrypted you can use AES 256 as well so the requirement over here is use uh, KMS so I'll gonna select KMS and select the key that we just have created S3S admin click save awesome so our file is now encrypted you can see the alias for KMS key ID is S3S admin. Now go ahead and refresh this particular URL. Now this shows that our file is encrypted. You can check the message like request specifying server side encryption with AWS KMS managed key require AWS signature version 4. So this is the way how we do the encryption. There is another way uh, we can do that. So <clears throat> we'll be uh, using CLI, AWS CLI to create a file and do the encryption and decryption, decryption mechanism. I'm gonna uh, put all the commands in my description section so you can use that. You don't have to use sudo. I am facing some issue with my uh, system so that's why I have to use sudo with this particular system. So what I am trying to do over here, okay first of all uh, we are using AWS KMS encrypt option with a key ID which we have to change. This is the key, the newly created key. So change the key and plain text we are creating a plain text hello world inside a file called encrypt1.txt one of op more option i have to do which is i have to give my profile profile shashank so what this will gonna do this will create encrypt1.txt file and with a hello world text in an encrypted format so let's go ahead and run the command let's click enter password enter if we don't receive any error that means our file is encrypted how to check that we do cat encrypt dot one click enter okay now this is something the hello world has been encrypted to this code this is an encoded format of hello world so obviously the file can 
if someone wants to see the file and if he doesn't have a key then obviously he won't be able to see the world hello sorry the text hello world and he'll be able to see this particular encoded format how to decrypt this particular format so we're gonna use decrypt option and the file name to decrypt it paste it enter we'll be seeing the hello world text that what we have created in encrypt one dot file so this is the way how we in do the encryption and decryption when you create a file when you upload a file and the best way to do this uh, i would refer to do it via cli i mean uh, i'm a cli guy so uh, mostly i use console as well but uh, cli is the best option where you get uh, more hands-on uh, on how the modules of an aws works that's a better way to do that if you are working on a linux system then CLI would work better. If you're working on a Windows system, I would say PowerShell module or the console itself gonna work. Okay, so that's it guys for the video. Uh, I would say, please go ahead and play around your KMS key. Create a KMS key, encrypt your volume, uh, EBS volume, encrypt your snapshots and upload a file, encrypt your uh, data or whatever you uploaded and see what result you are uh, getting on the console itself while browsing the url just place out a comment in the comment section if you have any queries and i'll be there to reply back to you as soon as possible have a nice day